today we're checking out Kona, a new Japanese restaurant from the guys behind Slurp Ramen. We're gonna start upstairs in the izakaya for some pork katsu sandos and chicken karagi. And then we're gonna move downstairs for the omakase tasting menu. My name is Philippine Reitzer and this is restaurant Kona. Kona means corner in Japanese. The idea was very simple. Corner is always where things happen. You meet at the corner, um, you explain things by corners. I'm from Austria. I'm worked in fine dining for some time, came originally for Noma, ended up working there for a while, then at Relay. Also spent some time in Japan to work in a Kaiseki and in different ramen shops, came back to Denmark, opened up Slurp Ramen John about four years now and uh, now opened up Kona last year and here we are. Um, so the food in the two different spaces are as so following the itzakaya, what we do is set like it's small dishes, dishes to share. Our uh, signature dishes are probably like the sandals, so translated sandwiches, where you have either way a pork cutlet that has been fried uh, and then dressed with tonkatsu sauce and cabbage. And then we have chicken korage, which is also like a Japanese staple you really find in any itzakaya. And that is deep fried chicken with a dip of some sort and some herbs and lemon. We're super lucky in that we have our own in-house kimchi queen, aka Kayla Kimchi. And she supplies us with some of the greatest kimchi. And she also makes this pretty dope kimchi sandwich. So it's milk bread, kimchi, cheese, butter, and some milk bread, toast it, slice it, and just, you know, eat it as a snack or as a whole dinner. and send the food downstairs in Omakase is the idea was quite simple that we said okay how do we take some of the great vegetables that we have here and some of the great seafoods and how do we just make it as simple as possible like with this Japanese aesthetic as well which is like two free components they all kind of complement each other and just make sense so we highlight the product and the food now obviously it's led by incredible chef Jessica. We started at the same time about seven years at Noma. She ended up staying, worked there for five years, then worked two years at Inua, and now came back to Denmark. And uh, yeah, it's just kicking ass down here in the Oma Casa. I'm from Austria. Let's be honest, it means some of the greatest wines are Austrians. So I was like, all right, there's a huge variety. We want to keep it simple, so we're going to start out with one country, and right now it's Austria. So we only have Austrian natural wines and then um, a couple of special cocktails. We wanted to focus on just like the classic apples you would get it in Japan, but then we thought, all right, let's give it a bit of a twist. We add some lemon uh, yuzu juice, which everybody loves. And then we have the three, uh, three different varieties, one with the empirical, the tiger blend, so which is like the basic blend for most of the other spirits, one with uh, Nika whiskey, and then one with shochu. And then you can decide And so we really want to be the space where no matter where you are or what you do, you can always drop by and know there's some warm plate of food for you and like a glass of something. And that there's this sense of like, okay, there's always a certain, not party vibe, but just a cool, chill vibe where you can always hang out. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching!